So we just finished eating the Sam Yang hot chicken flavored ramen tomato pasta edition. Wow, that's spicy. All right, so we are here. It is another Thursday. I am very excited. And um, as you can see, I already have the noodles going. They're boiling quite well, as a matter of fact. More excited than ever um, to be doing this. As you see, I'm, I'm doing another angle so I can get more light into like this video. And I'm I think I'm doing it right. I think we got this. So today we have we have the hot chicken flavored ramen, and this is the tomato pasta. Now, I've been told that this is quite spicy, so I am kind of like a little afraid uh, for my mouth, but we're going to do it. We're going to get it done, okay? Like I always say, so let's see. We're going to check the noodles out and see how they're doing. These look like they're about finished. So the directions this week says, it says to boil them for five minutes, and you know that I only do it for three. Um, and then it says, it says to drain, add the sauce, soup base, and the powder. There's no flakes this week. So this is quite interesting. Okay, let's get these out of here. All of the noodles. Let's make sure we get them all. I'm not too afraid of having some water in it because the heat kind of makes the water evaporate, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not worried about having a little bit of water in here, even though it says to drain it. Cool. So I'm gonna get this hot plate out of here because I really don't need it. We're adding the sauce now. This is quite thick. Looks good. I like, okay. And then we're gonna add the powder. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. This smells like like cheese. Okay. All right. So this Wow, bro. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's get it stirring. Okay, we're going to get that going. Let's get it stirring. It smells cheesy. It smells cheesy and spicy. All right, let's dig in. Let's do this. Let's get it done. Um, this week, I think I might need to use a fork, but we'll figure that out once uh, we get the ball rolling, okay? Okay, let's begin. Oh, I need my spoon. Let's get a good first bite. Oh my gosh. This is still like steaming, so I'm like, ooh, ooh. okay. There is something here that I is like, trying, I'm trying to taste. Mmm. They say with this kind of ramen. They're like the faster you eat it, the less painful, the less hot it is. Mm-hmm. I do taste cheese. I taste tomato, which obviously is included in this ramen, you know? So I'm not surprised I taste the tomato. This is giving me some spice. It's like it's like slowly creeping up. Mm hmm Good stuff, good stuff. I like it. I'm definitely enjoying this more than I enjoy the curry. This one's good. I taste, I taste the spice, I taste the parsley. It's giving me a little bit of sweetness, but nothing like Crazy. I am having a blast. Mm. That sauce all over me. Mm. Ooh, that was spicy. So we just finished eating the Sam Yang hot chicken flavored ramen tomato pasta edition. Wow, 
Oh, that's spicy. Now that I finished it, I'm kind of like feeling the heat. So I'm going to show you the ingredients. Yo, the ramen's everywhere. I'm going to show you the ingredients here so you can kind of get a look at what we got. If you want to do a little, a little pause. Um, here it says the sauce has tomato ketchup, water flavor enhancer, uh, oyster sauce. That's new. White sugar, onion, artificial chicken flavor. Uh, soybean oil, tomato powder, soy sauce, artificial chicken flavor. Star of the show. Uh, chili pepper, cheese, milk, garlic, egg, decolorized chili extract. That's why my mouth is burning. Black pepper powder, artificial beef flavor. Hey, that's a new one. The powder, it's mozzarella cheese powder. Oh, excuse me. Mozzarella cheese powder, mixed cheese powder, uh, which includes cheddar, cam camembert, camembert, gouda, butter powder, white sugar, curly parsley, basil powder, oregano powder. I didn't even know they did that. This one was like on the money with the spice. And this one was also on the money with the taste um, in regards to like, you know, being an actual tomato pasta kind of dish. It tastes really good. I liked it. I think that these are actually, the tomato pasta is going to be like one of my favorites. It didn't kill me, you know, like the uh, two times spicy. That one was like... Uh, excuse me, you need to get away from me. This one was nicely made. The only thing that I have a problem with this is that uh, it has a shitload of sodium in it, so I'm probably gonna die. So it's fine. next week, I'm gonna venture out to Brooklyn and I am going to review food in Brooklyn. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to um, what I'm gonna review. In, in, in Williamsburg, 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 Brooklyn. That's where I'm from. I am either going to do a pizza review or I am going to do a Korean restaurant. You guys are gonna be there, well, video-wise. Every Thursday, I make a new video. I am excited because this is getting so much more fun than it was in the beginning. I was like, oh, this is fun, but like now I'm like fucking losing it. I'm like, oh man, I gotta make another video. But other than that, I'm glad that you guys uh, joined me today for another review. I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm getting a little tired of Queens, and it's time to go back to Brooklyn, and uh, we're gonna eat good, okay? Thank you, always thank you for tuning in and watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much.